What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LS PDFR. In today's episode, we are going to be patrolling with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We're going to try to stay in the Ratten Canyon area of Blaine County, uh, patrolling the Coastal One. Uh, or U.S. Route 1, whichever you want to call it. But yeah, we're still in these beautiful maroon color state trooper vehicles. And again, link will be in the description below. I don't do that for many vehicles, but uh, I decided to do it for this one. I actually don't know. Maybe the author also stated that he would like it. I can't remember, but I know that I have been doing it for the last uh, two that I have patrolled in. So anyways, without further ado, let's begin this patrol right now. Uh, so we were just driving down the road and looks like oops, looks like that guy just had some major issues as he just rolled up. He actually love tapped me, so that's great. <laughs> I mean, we we're just driving down the road. I mean, seriously, bro. You can't tell that your car is just absolutely trashed. All right, dispatch, uh, go out ahead and show us out on. Let's turn the wheels in. Show us out on a 1011. We're gonna be at U.S. Route One, just north of the Fort Zancudo Bridge. Uh, get out of that. The 1028 on this vehicle is gonna be 45 Oscar Victor Union 266. It's gonna be a black habanero. Lexus, Occupied Four, one time. Five, Ocean Victor Union 266. No 1099. Coming back to a Frank Small. Three citations. No flags. Uh, it's more. It's uh, more of just a motorist assist. Um, I mean, literally. I don't know how long he's been driving on it, but I mean. That tire looks flat. Definitely got some smoke in there. I think the windows that yeah, they don't know that they can open both. Okay, uh hello sir. Trooper Miller with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is uh well one, you love tap me back there, and two, uh your car looks very undrivable. So if I could start with your driver's license, proof of insurance. And registration for the vehicle that would be great thank you mr small uh, and then let's just get some question uh, what happened to your vehicle it's getting a bit old well well I mean it doesn't actually look that old sir but um, yeah it, it is so just hold tight right there and I'll be right back with you alrighty so he's admitting that it's getting pretty old but Honestly, that's not like a, that's not why I'm stopping him. Is because it's getting old. Oh, it's that side that's missing the tire. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, toggle pause, toggle background. Frank Small, who he's actually been arrested for driving without a license. Oh wait, no, driving while license is revoked. Okay. And marijuana, possession of marijuana, all right. And then his citations have been expired registration. Un unru unworthy road vehicle, unworthy road vehicle. Obviously, this guy doesn't know how to learn his lesson. So, oops, not a rest, not a rest. Back up. All right, so unfortunately, he will be getting ticketed today. I think, I mean, that... Yeah, that's definitely like an SUV, I would think. Um, unworthy road vehicle. He obviously is not learning his lesson. So, yeah. All right, Mr. Smalls, if you could please step out of the vehicle, that would be excellent. Oh, man. You look like you're a mechanic. Why is your car all busted up? Anyways, dispatch, can you roll me a 1051 down here? We have a harbinger. Um. Sir? Come here, please. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop! Police! Sir. Sir. 
Are you under the influence of anything? Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! Alright. Um. Good lord. That bus needs to be stopped. Holy crap. Uh. Alright, ask ID. Alright. Is stop the Wait up. Okay. I got. Oop, there we go. Stop the pet. That's what I was looking for. Uh, sir, have you been drinking today? I've been sober for six months. All right, have you done any drugs recently? Nope. Okay. Why are you walking like that? I mean, let's go ahead and have you provide me a, a breathalyzer sample. If this comes back clean, you're going to have to do a drugalyzer, man, because... Uh, why are you walking like that? All right, we're gonna drug swab you. You have had uh, charges of marijuana, possession of marijuana. Appreciate it. Nugget, why are you walking? Okay, you know what? I need to just get you a taxi, I guess. All right, dispatch, can you roll me a taxi? Oh, here, actually, I'm gonna call. It's not dispatch. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call a taxi for this guy. I, 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 I uh. No, oh, please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. Oh my god. Jeez. The day in the life of a trooper, man, in San Andreas. I mean, jeez Louise. Alright. Almost watched somebody die there. Anyways, uh, dispatch. <laughs> Uh, you can go ahead and show that 1011 code 4. The guy is going to be picked up. and uh, we, ooh. Oh, that was not good. Uh, we are going to be back 10-8, returning to patrol. I believe it's going to be that car right there in front of us. Oh, my God. We just got people speeding all over. I believe it's going to be this one. I, I was more concerned about not hitting that, uh, that bus. We're going to go ahead and light him up. I'm going to assume that this is the guy... Um, yeah, because my, my blip kind of disappeared too quick. I don't even know how fast they were going or anything like that. So. All right, dispatch, you can go ahead and show us out on another 1011. This time, uh, still north of Fort Zancudo. We're in northbound lanes, U.S. Route 1. We're going to be out with a black coupe. It's going to be a two-door, uh, occupied two times. It's going to be a Masakaro. Plate's going to be 43 Nora X ray Frank 391. 43 Nora X ray Frank 391. No 1099. All right, it's coming back to a Leon Kennedy. Zero citations, never been stopped or anything like that. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Uh, hello, sir. Trooper Miller with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop today is I got you going uh, 72 and a 65. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the problem. So if I could start with your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration for the vehicle, that would be great. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Uh, what the? What? Seriously? I just died. Before I realized what that thing was going to do, you know, the mountain lion, I died. Oh, well, what a big rip there. What a big rip. Well, I guess we'll be... Look at I've even got, like, scars now. Anyways, I guess we'll be back on patrol, and we'll see what happens next. All right, we've got this hot rod that's kind of, he is all over the road. I'm going to try to get past this guy. Oh, yeah, he is. He is all over the road. I have a feeling this guy is, like, either on his phone or maybe drinking and driving. Um, either or. Man, the pullover script is so much better in the newest version of LSPDFR. All right, uh, dispatch, and yes, I am back alive. Well, I guess you guys already seen that I was, but yeah, I don't know what happened back there. Anyways, dispatch, 1011 US Route 1. 
We are just before the Chilean Mount State Wilderness Bridge, uh, right at like the park entrance here on US Route 1 in the southbound lanes. We're going to be stopped with an older vehicle. I'll get you a model here in a second. Occupied one time, two door coupe on a black tornado. That's it. 82 Robert Robert Whiskey 027. 82 Robert Robert William 027. No 1099. Coming back to a Gary Le Lekaski, okay, and uh, no flags on this vehicle. All righty, it's not walking the traffic, nah. All right, sir, uh, Trooper Miller with the San Andreas Highway. Ooh, we smell narcotics. All right, San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is uh, you are kind of all over the road back there. I just want to make sure you're doing okay. So if I could start with your driver's license, proof of insurance. Yeah, and registration for the vehicle that would be great thank you mr. Gary Lakowski uh, and then before we go and uh, I run your information I just have a quick question for you have you taken any drugs recently I can't remember officer uh, alrighty alright just hold tight I will be right back with you okay well we're smelling narcotics. He's driving like he's either under the influence or uh, something. You know, like he's under the influence of something, I should say. All right, Gary Lakowski, valid, no wanted status. He does have a handgun permit, and it is for a concealed weapon. Uh, leaving the scene of an accident. Okay. You know what? We're not at that point yet. All righty. go ahead and talk to him all right mr. Uh, Lakowski I guess I've already asked you those come on we want to stop wow. head. Hold up. Who right. cares? I don't need both of them we need one of them there we go uh, sir if you could go ahead and uh, let me get a swab off of your cheek here in just a second just want to make sure you're not under the influence of anything. Ooh, positive of cocaine and heroin? Oh, boy. All right, sir. Uh, at this time, let's see. Can I, oh, no, I just got, oh, right there. Arrest the pen. All right, sir, at this time, if you could go ahead and turn around, you are being placed under arrest for uh, being under the influence of cocaine and heroin. Definitely not a good thing to be, bud. Uh, and do you have anything on you that could poke me or stick me in any way, shape, or form? Anything illegal? Any drugs on you? Weapons? Anything not illegal? Okay, a pocket camera and a pocket knife. Did I say a pocket camera? I think it was a portable camera. All right. He doesn't have his gun on him, so that's good. Um, yeah, I... I can't believe it. I mean, he literally, he literally was under the influence of coke, or is under the influence of cocaine and heroin. I mean, it's a double whammy, man. All right, sir, go ahead and have a seat in the back of my Tahoe here. Just watch your head. This does have a cage, right? Yes, it does. All right. Okay, we're seeing needle marks, so that's not good. We're going to go ahead and search the vehicle here. Let's search it and see what we can find all right we are finding a bottle of hand sanitizer a macbook pro laptop and a clown outfit and nothing else around or in the vehicle all right dispatch if you could sh uh roll me out here a uh yeah we can do a small tow truck um we need a tow truck out here for oh that's not what i wanted okay well I wanted my F-550. But anyways, Dispatch, thank you for sending us a tow truck in uh, such... Man, there's a stolen car going by us. Holy crap, man. Blaine County. All right. Let's go ahead. Ped database. We are going to be writing him up an arrest report. Charges. Ah, not possession. Nope. It's going to be traffic. He's going to be reckless driving, driving under the influence, driving under... 
driving under the influence two times. I'm just going to close all that out. All right, Gary. Um, yeah, let's shut my door. And let's grab onto you. That way you're not in the middle of the room. All right. We're just going to go ahead and set you down over here. Let you stand up over here. There we go. And come on. Come on. And dispatch, can you go ahead and roll me a transport unit out for this? Why are they spawning right there? I wish they would go a little bit farther, make it a little more realistic. Um, I love the response time, don't get me wrong, but man. Yeah, I just wish that, uh, you know, they would spawn out a little bit farther. Anyways, uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and show this call, code 4. Uh, this traffic stop code for, I should say. Suspect has been picked up, and uh, we're going to be back 10-8 as soon as they get him loaded up, and we can drive out of here. Fucking moron. Citizens report a public nuisance, a bicycle heading southbound on Great Ocean Highway. All right, dispatch, go ahead and uh, show us in route. I did not see a bicycle. He must have just came up from the beach. But he's supposedly heading southbound. Oh my god, he got hit by a car. Oh, Jesus. I guess we weren't fast enough here. Uh, dispatch, go ahead and show us out with that bicycle. It looks like... Uh, that looks like uh, he got hit by a car. This is not good. Come on, bro. You just got to talk to me. All right, let's speak to him. Officer, over here. I'm talking to you. This person just came out of nowhere. I have no idea why they are riding on this road. They were wearing about... They were weaving about like they were drunk or something. And then they just lost control and fell. It looks like they hit their head. No one else stopped to help. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, well, actually, I, I mean, I... Yeah, no, I... Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I can believe it, dude. Definitely. All right. Um, nope. Let's get a paramedic out here. There we go. Dispatch, we need a 1052 down here for uh, a person. So I guess they did not get hit on their car. Hit by a... What? Why can I not speak? I So they did not get hit by a car. They just... Uh, they just fell off their bike, so... Ah, uh, beaut. She's a beaut, baby. Look at that thing. Alright. Uh, I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Believe me. But, I mean, look at that beauty. Alright, so, yeah, they're gonna try to, uh, help her. Let's see. I wonder if I can search the bike, see if I can find anything? Maybe an ID, possibly? Nothing. Okay. You can hear that power stroke diesel in that. I mean, they literally have a diesel engine sound on that thing. You can hear it. You can hear the sound of the diesel engine. Alright. So it looks like she is going to be uh, 1144 at this time, which is unfor- I mean, that is, that's unfortunate. Um, dispatch, can you go ahead and roll me a corner out here? We are going to have one person that uh, was declared 1144 by the paramedics. Okay. And then let's go ahead. Ooh, a pickup truck? Can I actually come get this thing? Oh, man. This is going to be awesome. All right, so we're going to... You know, we... Is it that pickup truck? A sand king. God, that is so cool. Look at that. Man, that is awesome. Alright. Uh, 
Whoa, 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 man. I didn't mean that you could just let go like that. Anyways, uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and show this scene code for, um, which I guess it was code for a little, a little earlier. Uh, but anyways, uh, the victim was picked up by the coroners. Uh, it's a sad day. She did pass away. Uh, her bike will go to the impound lot where nobody will probably pick it up, so it will be auctioned off. And with that call, that is going to be the last call of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of LSPDFR. Uh, I'm just, I'm still loving these uh, maroon color vehicles. I actually don't know if the bumpers are supposed to be maroon too. But uh, we do have like one or two left, I believe. Maybe one more left to use. So yeah. Uh, that will be in the next episode. It'll be the last time with this pack, and then we'll move on to something different. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of LSPDFR, and I will see you guys next episode.